What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I have a video explaining to you today how to replace the recoil spring guide, the recoil spring and plug. Now I want to go back to the way that the 1911 was made originally and on top also easier to clean. You know, if I ever need to get into the gun, um, it can be, although it's not a huge deal, you can, you know, figure out how to do it. But, you know, this has a full length uh, guide rod. So, um, I want to switch that out. This is some stuff, I'm going to be making some videos here, it's stuff that I wanted to do um, probably over the last two years or so, ever since I got uh, this 1911. And, you know, through carrying my Glock all the time, um, I carry this more in the winter, so now I'm getting ready for my winter carry. Uh, which I usually carry a 45 more uh, for various reasons, but uh, let's get down to it first. Uh, let's clear the weapon magazine out safety down Go ahead and get that out of the way Now this has a full length uh, Guide rod so to assist me you just take something and uh, push that down in Put your finger over top and let that come out now. This is going to be a lot of pressure um coming out of this, uh, this spring. So make sure that you have your finger, you know, or your hand over it so it doesn't go flying out, because it will. Um, at that point, we go ahead, push this back here, pop out the slide release, push it forward, and we're done. <clears throat> now let's look at the parts that we're gonna replace. Here's the full length one, here's the normal length one. Here is the full length plug and the original length. I'll call it original length. And you can definitely tell a difference in the spring. You can see there's definitely a good inch uh, extra on that spring uh, from Wilson Combat, the new one. So we're going to go ahead and replace this. Replace this because we don't need that length anymore. Replace the full length guide rod. Now before I get started here, before I put it back together, what I like to do is just put a uh, small, very minuscule amount of some sort of cleaner, lube and protectant. So in this situation, go ahead and put some frog lube on here, if I can get some on there. There we go. Uh, I like to run my 1911 relatively wet. Um, I don't like, to, I don't like to, you know, it's kind of the opposite compared to like a, uh, uh, like a Glock, you know, you want to run Glocks, you know, they'll run, they're like a tank, right? Well, 1911 likes, you know, like some TLC compared to other weapons. And I'll put just a little bit on the inside here. Actually, you can see it's a little dirty on the inside there coming from the factory. So I guess that's maybe a good thing. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and do that, and uh, just take a little bit on the outside here too. Let's get a little coating on there. All right, what I'll take with my hands here is I'll just run over this spring with barely anything, just to kind of give it just a sheen. Not like Charlie, like the uh, like a sheen. All right. So what we're going to do at this point is reassemble and bump the camera because that's how professionals do it. Now to reassemble, what you're going to do is go ahead and put your uh, guide rod back in and you're going to go ahead and put your spring back in. Now you're going to have to do this um, upside down, you know, you can't do it like this or this is going to pop out. So what I like to do is just put this upside down like such. Put the uh, frame on, and then I'll line up the hole here, which can take a little bit of finagling. Oops. Alright, now I'll go ahead and lock that. Alright, so now that we have the uh, plug on here, what we're going to do is go ahead and compress that down into the frame there. 
put this over top. And there you go. Very, very easy to do. Now I will tell you that that 16, this is a 16 pound um, spring. This was easily a 14, maybe a 15. But this spring definitely has a little more um, mood to it. It's a little more angry than, uh, than this spring, which is, I guess, good um, because, you know, this one has a thousand rounds on it and it worked. So what I'll do is I'll take this complete kit I have here and I'll, I'll label it and I'll put it in a box. You know, if I ever need something, you know, just on the fly, this is still good. It still works. So I'll definitely put that combination together. But like I, uh, what I like to do is keep the combinations together of manufacturers. Now this is Rock Island Armory. I'm not sure who makes this for them, if they make it. I haven't researched it that much, but when there's certain parts that are together that work together, um, I like to keep the, uh, the manufacturer the same. So that's pretty easy. Had to uh, replace the spring and guide rod and going from my uh, full length to a uh, uh, normal length. Um, that's all you gotta do right there. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, put them down there in the comments. If uh, you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and put that down there in the comments. Video response is always welcome. And until uh, next time, later.